Let me put it like this. Donald J. Trump, president of the United States, is the best thing that ever happened to the Democratic Party, especially for Democrats in the state of Georgia. He has been able to do what no Democrat could do. He has been able to fracture the Republican Party to almost no repair. Republicans are now turning on Republicans in the state of Georgia. He has damaged the brand of the Republican Party, and he continues to instill this sentiment in Republican voters that voting does not matter because the election is already rigged. All of that equates to Republican on Republican voter suppression. Right now, in the state of Georgia, based on a poll that was done two weeks ago, 55% of likely runoff voters who consider themselves to be very conservative are saying they are not voting because the machines are from China and the machines are rigged. And until they change these machines, they will not participate in this election. That is damaging to a base turnout that Republicans like Purdue and Leffler need in order to secure a victory. Mm. When we spoke back in November, you made the prediction very soon after the uh, November 3rd election that President Trump wouldn't make a concession speech and that he might consider running again in 2024. And so far, one of those things at least has been true. Uh, do you think that President Trump's uh, support base nationally has changed uh, in the last weeks, given how he has uh, acted post the election and now just weeks away from uh, President-elect Joe Biden's inauguration? No, not from his base supporters. You will always have about 30 percent of the Republican base go hard for Donald Trump. He has always maintained those numbers. And also he has proven that you can be a base president, you can govern for your base and still be very relevant within the context of your own political party. But as far as moderate Republicans and those who consider themselves to be traditional conservatives, they never had tremendous love for Donald Trump in the first place. But Donald Trump served an agenda. He appointed their judges. He appointed their cabinet members. He supported their platform. Now that he's a lame duck president, you see distance between him and Mitch McConnell. You see distance between him and Southern Democrats like Brian Kemp and others. So his power is definitely already lessening, but he will remain strong with at least 30 percent of the base support within the Republican Party, which means a Republican politician still may need to kiss the ring of Donald Trump if they want to survive a primary.